repeatable component loading, precise holding of the chip, and consistent referencing routines for repeatable processing. Fixture alignment and calibration. Once the sample is held, we must ensure that the polishing fixture design integrates alignment means for uniform polishing across critical surfaces while controlling chip geometry. Polishing and process control. The polishing platform must be flexible, allowing the adjustment of critical processing parameters in both manual and programmable modes. R and D to production. The system must provide a pathway from low volume process development to a production level scale. Repeatable component loading. Performance relies upon the positive and repeatable loading of components. A well-toleranced fit and holding mechanism will optimize the final chip geometry and surface finish. Several factors must be considered, starting with the original condition of the sample. Pick and waveguide fabrication issues, die cut quality. Inconsistencies with die cutting methods can produce chips with non-uniform surfaces, such as non-parallel edges and uneven chip width on lengths. The polishing fixture must be designed to engage with a repeatable datum point that is inherent to all chips. If the sample does not have a consistent datum point for referencing, the fixture and process must compensate for such and provide preliminary steps for surface planarization, square edge creation, and material removal. Poxy deposition. Some chips are multi-layered consisting of bases and caps bound together with epoxy. In these cases, chip clamping must not reference on these inconsistent regions, and means must be provided to remove these uneven epoxy deposits to reveal the active chip surface. Clamp design. Unlike fiber optic connectors fabricated to industry standard dimensions and specifications, picks and waveguide configurations are typically unique to a particular manufacturer. Varying chip dimensions, hence mounting fixtures should be adjustable to accommodate varying chip widths, lengths, and thicknesses. This is especially important during the R and D phase when final product specifications have not been determined. Fixture material and physical contact points. Clamping mechanisms for securing the chip to the mounting fixture should be fabricated from materials that will not damage critical chip surfaces. Typically, a polymer with the appropriate rigidity is chosen to prevent sample scratching or chipping. Additionally, clamp contact locations should avoid sensitive waveguide surface elements. Multiple contact points, applying force in opposing directions, may be required to prevent sample twisting, rotation, and lifting from the fixture reference surface and mounting plate. Reference positioning. For uniform and consistent chip loading, it is important to be able to locate the polishing fixture in a reference position. When in the reference position, chips can be loaded, and the same component protrusion can be ensured from one chip processing session to the next. This is especially true in order to eliminate the use of individual loading techniques used by one technician versus another. Carrier approach for micro components. For very small chips, an offline loading method into individual carriers be required. Video assisted loading. An independent video scope station can provide a means of very precise loading in carriers. These carriers can then be transferred and mounted upon the polishing fixture that is engaged with the base machine. Fixture design and calibration. Just as important as chip loading is important for consistent performance, fixture design and alignment determine to what degree. Sample orientation and handling. In order to produce the requisite chip surface and edge geometries necessary to achieve a desired light control effect, the polishing fixture must be able to be positioned in various orientations. Variable angles. Depending upon a specific application, chip edges may need to be processed with either flat or angle geometries. The ability to adjust the fixture polish angle provides a means of optimizing light coupling and reducing back reflection. Multiple facets. Specialized light control requirements may necessitate a fixture be positioned in various orientations to form multiple facets on a chip's active edge. This needs to be accomplished without removing the chip, and therefore maintaining the original loading reference. 
multiple end faces. Many applications also require that multiple edges on the same chip be processed. Rather than repositioning the chip on a mounting plate, the carrier approach can also be used to minimize direct handling of the sample. Passive versus active alignment. To obtain maximum geometry control and consistency, a polishing fixture needs to be accurately calibrated so the chip edge is aligned perfectly to the polishing surface. Rather than relying upon tight machining tolerances and passive fixture assembly, additional precision can be achieved using active alignment techniques. This can be accomplished by loading a gold reference standard in the fixture while positioning it above an interferometer device. While monitoring the fringe pattern, the fixture is adjusted until the sample surface is aligned with the interferometric plane, then set into this position. This technique precisely aligns the sample with the polishing surface, negating fixture machining tolerances that are accumulated during equipment assembly. Independent suspension, constant pressure between the chip edge and polishing film, is required for both material removal and to prevent chattering vibrations that can cause damage. As material wears away, chip contact must be maintained and controlled. This can be accomplished with independent suspension mechanisms in which the polishing fixture rides on a Z-axis linear slide with pressure induced by a precision spring. Polishing and process control. Parameter control, pressure, speed, and cycle time. At a minimum, any system should have the ability to control the processing variables of pressure, platen rotational speed, and cycle time. Ideally, these parameters can be adjusted on the fly for process development efforts and programmable for manufacturing. Motion control. Standard polishing machines utilized the traditional method of lowering the chip into contact with the film and applying pressure. However, Picks and waveguides require better control over chip movement and contact with the film to prevent damage and excessive stress. Incremental sample advancement. Ideal fixture chip movement consists of incremental advancement to the polishing surface at a programmable rate and designated start and stop positions. Combined with an independent suspension mechanism, gentle contact can be initiated with gradually increasing pressure for uniform material removal. Micron level positioning. Micron level positioning is critical in pick and waveguide applications. Movement on this level is necessary to control material removal and prevent overpolishing in sensitive regions. Film surface types. Picks and waveguides are fabricated with a variety of materials. These include, but are not limited to, silica, silicon, lithium niobate, silicon nitrate, indium phosphide, etc. Achieving superior surface finishes may require extensive process development to determine which abrasive polishing films are best suited for the particular chip material. Commercially available film abrasives range from silicon carbides to aluminum oxides and diamond to silicon dioxides. A particular polishing process may consist of multiple steps, coarse grinding, shaping, fine polishing, and different film types for the intent of each step. Video monitoring, real-time viewing, direct visual feedback by observing sample polishing in real-time to determine optimal Z-axis positions, referencing during loading, sample contact with the film, and process progress and completion. Inline surface inspection. Rather than the traditional requirement to transfer samples to another microscope workstation, surface inspection can be accomplished while the chip is still loaded in the machine. After inspection, if additional polishing is deemed necessary, the chip can be repolished without the need to reload or re-reference. Geometry confirmation. In addition to just viewing the sample in the machine, a measurement means should be available to confirm end face angles and material stock removal. R and D to production. Often pick and waveguide projects begin in an R and D phase requiring the processing of only small sample sets. Equipment should be chosen that provides a platform and path to a chip manufacturing scale level. System scalability, multiple component polishing. Fixtures should be upgradable to multiple positions. This also requires the previously mentioned independent suspension feature in which each position has individual freedom of movement in the Z-axis. 
This will compensate for any chip loading tolerance or surface irregularities, guaranteeing positive contact and equalized pressure distribution against the polishing surface. Manual operation to programmed modes. During the process development phase, manual control of the polishing parameters is used to determine optimal processing conditions. Once a process is established, a programming procedure must be implemented to offer straightforward instructions that effectively assist inexperienced technicians and ensure consistent product output. Interconnect device support. Fiber arrays, terminated chips. While this presentation has been PIC chip-centric equipment, it should also be able to support the processing of other photonic components that may be used for optical input, output, and coupling needs between chips and devices. Shaped and lensed fibers. Components such as fiber arrays, terminated chips, and shaped bare fibers should be supported with interchangeable polishing fixtures. Nova, the work cell solution, integrates polishing and inspection. By integration, the functions of both polishing and inspection, Nova minimizes material handling. No need to transfer components back and forth between independent polishing stations to standalone inspection stations. This eliminates the need for constant chip reloading and re-referencing, prevents potential chip damage and contamination. Quality assurance confirmation can be assessed before chip removal. A single technician can be both a processor and an inspector. Configurable and module fixture design. It is possible to initially configure workholder fixtures for low volume process development and then upgrade with multiple polishing positions for manufacturing. Videoscope modules can be added and custom installed at any time. Fixtures are easily interchanged for processing chips and waveguides, but also other polishing applications such as bare fibers and terminated connectors. Flexible and intuitive software platform. Nova utilizes an intuitive and familiar Android interface for simplified operation and easy programming. Its wireless tablet can be upgraded as new feature sets are developed. Address the PIC challenges. And most importantly, Nova addresses all the PIC processing challenges that we just discussed. Nova's design and operation takes into consideration chip loading, referencing, precise alignment, micron level positioning, video inspection, and flexible operation modes. Nova is the solution to your current processing requirements and provides a platform for future applications.